Thevenin's theorem. In this video, we will solve Thevenin's theorem problem. Question: Obtain Thevenin's equivalent circuit for the network shown in figure with respect to terminals A and B. We have to find its Thevenin equivalent circuit. First of all, we will see what is Thevenin's theorem. Thevenin's theorem states that a linear two-terminal circuit can be replaced by its equivalent circuit consisting of a voltage source VTH in series with a resistor RTH where VTH is the open circuit voltage at the terminals and RTH is the equivalent resistance at the terminals when all the independent sources are turned off. Now we will draw Thevenin equivalent circuit according to this statement. So we need VTH that is open circuit voltage this will be VTH and equivalent resistance RTH this will be terminal A and this will be terminal B and this is our load resistor RL this is load resistor RL this is current IL according to Ohm's law IL is equal to VTH upon RTH plus RL and this is called as Thevenin's Thevenin's equivalent circuit now first of all we have to find this RTH its equivalent resistance so now we will write the step to find RTH step number one is to find RTH now to find RTH what we have to do we have to remove RL and turn off all independent sources Now first of all we will copy this circuit from here. And here the RL is absent. So we can directly turn off independent sources. So as we can see there are two independent sources. One is a voltage source and one is a current source. Now when we turn off the current source that time it will be open circuited. So this will be open circuited and when we turn off the voltage source that time it will be a short circuit so this will be short circuit and now this will be our RTH that is Thevenin's resistance so we can easily find the value of RTH as we can see this 250 ohm and this 50 ohm are connected in series so its equivalent resistance will be 300 ohm so this will be of 300 ohm now this 300 ohm and 10 ohm are connected in parallel so 300 ohm connected in parallel with 10 ohm 300 multiplied by 10 divided by 300 plus 10 if we solve this so it will be 300 multiplied by 10 divided by 300 plus 10 so it is 9 point 9.677 9.677 ohm is the value of RTH RTH is equal to 9.677 ohm next step number 2 we have to find the value of this open circuit voltage VTH so next we will write to find VTH what we have to do again remove RL remove RL and VOC is equal to VTH so VOC is the open circuit voltage here we have to find this VTH now this will be positive and this will be negative 
so we can easily find the value of vth first we will convert this current source into its equivalent voltage source we will find this vth by using source transformation technique so let's convert this 8 ampere current source into its equivalent voltage source now here we have to draw a voltage source in series with this resistor it will be positive this will be positive and this will be negative now according to ohm's law v is equal to i into r the value of voltage is the value of current is 8 ampere so v is equal to i into r current value is 8 ampere and resistance value is 250 ohm so 8 multiplied by 250 will be 2000 volt so this will be of 2000 volt and then next is we have to erase this current source from here now we will find current let's say this is current i according to ohm's law i is equal to v by r the value of voltage is 2000 and the value of resistance is 250 plus 50 plus 10 250 plus 50 plus 10 so the value of current i is equal to 2000 divided by 250 plus 50 plus 10 so it is 6 point 6.45 6.45 ampere is the value of current i now we can find this voltage the voltage across this 10 10 volt so here we can write v 10 ohm is equal to or here we will write v 10 ohm is equal to current i multiplied by resistance value is 10 ohm so current i value is 6.45 Four five multiplied by ten, so it will be sixty four point five volt. Sixty four point five volt is the voltage across ten ohm. Now here we know the voltage across this ten volt, this ten ohm. So we will write it like this: plus minus, and it is sixty four point five volt. 64.5 volt now this is our vth plus minus and this is open circuit voltage vth now we will apply kvl to this we will apply kvl in this direction we will apply kvl to let's say this is mesh number 2 mesh number 2 apply kvl to mesh number 2 and let's say we will start from this point so it will be minus vth minus vth then minus 25 minus 25 then plus 10 or plus 64.5 plus 64.5 is equal to 0 now we can easily find the value of VTH so VTH will be equal to if we take this on right side so it will be VTH is equal to 64.5 volt minus 25 64.5 minus 25 so it will be 39.5 39.5 volt is the value of vth now we have the value for vth and we also have the value for rth so we can draw thevenin equivalent circuit we will directly copy it from here 
now we will substitute the value of bth it is 39.39.5 volt and here the value of rth is the value of rth is 9.677 9.677 ohm so this is our final thevenin equivalent circuit